do guys welcome to the mod studio 2 mini series this is going to be a series of videos all about mod studio 2 i hope you find it helpful and useful welcome to episode 2 and it's coming up after this watch you guys welcome back to game take so basically the first thing we need to do is to go into our file explorer now my game files are stored on my d drive but for some people they'll be on the c drive if they did it on the default but mine's in d but it doesn't matter it's exactly the same you just come up to where your game is and you'll want to find your steam apps folder double we'll click on that then your common then let's say we're doing ets yeah and then what we're looking for is the base and the def files what you do on your desktop create a new folder base and def copy 1.40 okay and then you're going to take your base scs file up here you're going to right click it and we're going to copy that i'm just going to put that there we're going to paste it in and the same with your def you're going to right click that copy it and paste it into here now this way the game is perfectly safe that you're all you're doing is playing about with the uh with a copied version of it of the base and def files which is what you need to extract we've uh, i've already showed you this with the scs extractor but we're going to be having a look at it with mod studio 2 so for the time being let's move that out of the way and we're going to open up mod studio 2 eventually i don't know why this takes so long sometimes it works sometimes it don't there we go i've no idea why that takes that long okay so if we come across to scs tools you'll see that there's an scs extract and we're going to click on that scs archive to extract now you could put in the one straight from the game but then you run the risk of damaging the game one so what we're going to do is we're going to browse on my desktop we're going to go into here base and def copy we we'll do the base file first because that's the longest one yeah i'm going to click open and you'll see that that will come into here and now you want to give it an output path now what i would suggest you do before you do this in this file just make a new folder and call it extracted shut that down browse in here into desktop yeah there you can see it select the folder and there you can see ready to rock and roll let's extract them now you can see that it says there extracting the base scs this might take some time there's also a little box there that says empty the output folder before extracting uh, i didn't do that because obviously it was a new folder I would always suggest you use a new folder every time for every game because every game version you will need to do this if you're going to want to get into the files now when i did this with the scs extractor i think it took something like 15 minutes so this could take a while so we'll uh, come back when this is done and you can see that it started to uh, extract itself lines up all its folders and stuff so can see that it's working so we'll say we'll come back when uh when it's finished doing that while this is still extracting i'm going to take this opportunity guys to invite you to come over and join in the game take facebook group which i've set up over on facebook i'm going to take you there now and show you the actual site so if you feel like it i will be putting a link in the description but we're going to try and start a little community going there's a few of us in it not not many at the moment but we can get it going and uh, it'd be much appreciated if you'd like to go over there. This is what the site looks like. It's called the, the Game Take Channel Official Group. And it'd be great to see you over there. So let's get back to it extracting. I've just noticed as well that I've extracted it into a folder called Extracted. But I almost said Extracted what? I need to change that and add base to the end of it. And then we'll be putting a new folder with Extracted Def. But that'll only take seconds to do so. And there you can see the extracting is done for that part. 
Okay, so what we're going to quickly do, so that I don't forget, is to quickly rename that. Extracted base. And here we go, a new folder. And then what we're looking for now is to come across to the browse. And we're going to go to desktop. Def and base copy. We're going to click the def. Open that up in there. And in this, we're going to click extracted def. Select folder. Ready to rock and roll. But this should only take maybe a minute. And that's the extracting done, so it's much faster done on this one. Let's just open that up. So this is what you're left with. An extracted base file. And the extracted dev file. If we go back to the uh, base, there's a lot of things in here that you might want to get at to change. We'll be covering some of them in uh, other bits, but one thing that might be in here would be garage if we were to change the view of this to large icons as an example well let's open that up that's opened in paint.net here you can see this is a template for some beams you might be able to see it better there's the wall and these are some beams that you can paint in your garage as an example. These are some more girders from the garage. And that we will be covering doing a garage. That's coming up in the weeks ahead. You can see there's the uh, numbers above the door there. Certain bits. Uh, there's a little wooden fence. You can, you can replace that. I think that's the manhole cover. I'm going to have to go into this in more detail anyway, because these look a little bit, these templates look a little bit blurry, so I might get some better ones from somewhere. But these would be the bits we be able to change. So you'd, you, this is one reason for extracting the copy so that you can come in and uh, have a look inside here. All of the DDS files here. And obviously you've got your vehicle which is what we went into before to change the interior which was truck and we chose the Scania 2016 and then we went into interior and you'll remember that we changed some of these to all the interiors to change which is in this video I'm just about to put up on the screen so basically that's that's how you use the SCS extractor to open the def and base files from the game. So that was episode two, guys. Now in episode three, we'll be going and taking a look at the 3D previewer. We'll be seeing what it does, how you use it, how it can really help you with your skinning. And uh, that's all coming up in episode three. So thanks for watching, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Stay tuned for the further episodes of Mod Studio 2. I'm sure we're all going to learn some really good things with this together. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.